Number two, not your cup of tea. Its meaning is something that is not of your taste or liking. Its usage. Joanne is very bad at tennis. It's just not her cup of tea. Its origin. Uh, people in England are very particular about the tea that they drink. Even though there are so many varieties, they will not drink any other than the tea that they are used to. It is, it is just a matter of taste. So, anything that you are not used to is just not your cup of tea. Number three, nutty as a fruit cake. Its meaning is crazy, mad and eccentric. Its usage, everybody in the town thought that Aunt Hilda was as nutty as a fruit cake. She wore no warm clothes in winter and put on two to three sweaters in summer. Uh, its origin, first let me tell you what a fruit cake is. It is a cake made with dried fruits and a lot of nuts. Nut is a term we, we sometimes use to describe people who are really crazy. And if someone is as nutty as nuts in the fruit cake, then they must be really crazy. Number four, out of the science pan and into the fire. Its meaning is from a bad situation into one that is more worse. Its usage, Reddy escaped the bears, but as he came out of the bush, the beast stung him. That is what I call a out of the frying pan and into the fire. Its origin. If you were in a frying pan, you would be in a lot of trouble, right? Imagine, uh, how it would it be if you accidentally fell into the fire next? That, that is like going from a bad situation into one that is more worse. Number five, piece of a cake. Its meaning is an extremely easy thing to do. Its usage. Making my breakfast is a piece of cake. I just toss in the cornflakes and uh, pour in the milk. Its origin. Eating a piece of cake is a very easy and enjoyable thing to do. Therefore, anything that is easy to do is compared to the enjoyable experience of eating a cake. Number six, sell like hot cakes. Its meaning is to sell very easily. Its usage, the t-shirts we made for the fair were so beautiful that they sold like hot cakes. Its origin, in the olden days, hot cakes were sold at the local fairs. The cakes would sell very fast because they were so tasty and also because people wanted them to eat uh, while they are still warm. So anything that sells very fast is compared to selling like hot cakes. Number 7. Spill the beans. Its meaning is to give away a secret. Its usage. When the policeman threatened the thief, he spilled the beans about the house that he had robbed. Its origin. In ancient Greece, People used to gather in secret clubs and when they had to vote, they would drop beans into a jar. A black bean drop would mean no and a white would mean yes. Others would sometimes expose whom they had voted for by uh, overturning the jar and spilling the beans. Ever since, this saying has been used to refer to the act of giving away a secret. Number 8. Pay with a grain of salt. Its meaning is to accept something disbelievingly. Its usage. My uncle Stevie tells us such tall stories but mother says that most of what he says must be taken with a grain of salt. Its origin. In olden times, people considered salt to be an antidote to poison. So, taking anything with a grain of salt meant being on the safe side, like not believing what 
Number nine, upset the apple cart. Its meaning is to spoil something completely. Its usage. Our team had already guessed the answer in the quiz, but Thomas upset the apple cart by answering out of turn. Its origin. You must have noticed apples with brown patches in places. This happens when the apple falls or gets damaged. Well, everyone loves to eat apples. Damaging one apple is bad enough. Just imagine someone upsetting a cart full of apples. What a waste of apples! Number 10. What's your